Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Makeup Fun with Olivia, and welcome back to look two <laughs> of the Natasha Denona bronze palette. This is what it looks like, you guys. If you'll recall, in my first video, I played it super safe because I normally like cool eyeshadows, so this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but you guys, it has 15 new shades never before, see, before seen in any other Natasha Denona palette, and I just had to try it out. I They just look so beautiful. I had to try them out, and I'm really glad I did. I am really happy with this look. I started off being really scared, but you know what? I like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are. By the way, I noticed when I ran upstairs to put on my makeup after I finished the eye look that I was wearing my top backwards. So you're about to see me in an inside out top. I'm sorry, but it's on now correctly. <laughs> anyway, so let's jump into my eye look number two. And if you're interested in seeing an eye look number three, because the more I use this, the more I realize the versatility of this palette. You wouldn't think it's very versatile, but it really is. I really like it. Anyway, if you wanna see how this look came about, keep on watching. Let's do this. I'm both scared and excited. Um, I'm definitely sure I want to try true, bon true bronze, true bronze. <laughs> okay, so let's jump in. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I am using my Glitzy Fritzy Sigma brushes again. I have them clean and ready to go again. I also, because after look one, we realized that there is no light shade here for the inner corner or for the outer like upper under the eyebrow so i did bring a couple of extra palettes um in case you know so we can look for a shade there i'm gonna use the sigma e25 blending brush to dip into beach beach is described on the website as a warm nude so putting that um, in the crease and whatever is left over I do bring up to use kind of as a transition shade as well like it like it like it yeah these these warm colors are definitely um, different for me but this is kind of fun and exciting grabbing a little bit more to put in that crease and then bringing up whatever is left over and the reason I bring it up is because I have hooded eyes. So when I open my eye, then a lot of it is gone. So I do have to go up, otherwise you can't see it. And sometimes I'll use a different shade up here as a transition, but I really like this one, so. Okay, so for my lid, you know what, I'm gonna try to put in the outer corner first. Hmm. I'm gonna go daring. Let's try high degree, which is this one right here. High degree. We're gonna use the E36, also called a blending brush. High degree. <laughs> Look at that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try to do both the outer corner. It's called a halo effect, right? When you go in the outer and the inner. Let's do that. See how that comes out. <laughs> I think I've only done like one halo look, maybe two um, in my life. So let's do that over here. By the way, I am still so very impressed by the precision in this brush. It applies exactly where you want it. and. I think I've come to realize that my eyes are smaller here, um, very little real estate there. And so it helps to know that about your own eyes because smaller brushes help. Thank you, Glitzy Fritzy. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Sometimes you don't figure things out on your own and just by trying new stuff. Okay, now, we're going to go into that true bronze color and put that on the middle of the lid. 
and I'm going to use the E55 eye shading, eye shading brush. True Bronze is a foil, a True Bronze, I think it says True Bronze foil on the website. Oh yeah, Mama likes. I don't know if you can see it. Again, I have very little real estate and it blended in very nicely um, with high degree. Let's do that on the other eye. The good bad thing about having hooded eyes, and I see it as a good thing because you can be a little bit more daring. When you open your eyes, most of it's gonna hide it. It's gonna hide, so, um, and then when you kind of blink, you can kind of see that little surprise. So that's what I tell myself to make myself feel better about having hooded eyes. <laughs> And now hooded and wrinkled eyes. <laughs> okay, super easy, super quick. Let's go in a little bit more with that beach color and intensify it up here. I'm kind of thinking because of my skin tone, I can, you know, I don't have to be so scared. Okay, and then I did bring my Wayne Goss, clean them up again um, so that I can blend this at the top. I'm just kind of going back and forth. And then let me blend out here first before I go in to blend on the crease. Okay, now I can blend this. And so it looks like the foil and the glitter did go a little bit into my crease, but that's okay. Not very much. It, it's not moving around a lot. Um, I did try something new for primer today. I will share uh, down below written. I don't want to take up time in this video because I tend to chat a lot. <laughs> and my videos get long. I try to edit out a lot, but you know, you know. <laughs> okay, so now that's it from this palette. I brought down with me the Urban Decay Honey. I thought I, in, in look number one, I called it um, gold, but no, it was honey um, that I haven't used yet. I've kind of just squatched it. So I think I'm gonna use the color Flyby here. I'm going to use a clean It Cosmetic. I'll put it down below because I can't remember, but um, this is what it looks like. I usually use it for the outer corner. Use it over here today and see if this works, hopefully this works. I'm having a hard time figuring out what goes up there. See, I feel like that's a little bit cooler than what I wanted. But if I dig into these other colors, they're dark too. It's, there's something about these gold bronzy palettes, right? You don't have like a light shimmery one. Very interesting. Okay, before I go into the other eye, I wanna try, I also brought down, oops, sorry about that. I also brought down my Naked Urban Decay Smoky. Do you guys remember this? Because if the other one didn't work, then I was gonna try this one. And this one has the color high right here. So let's try that one on this eye and see how that looks. I won't change. So this one's a little bit more pink and definitely shimmery. I don't tend to like shimmery colors up there, but we're going with it. <laughs> so let me put some of this one here too. And let's go back in and get some of that flyby from the Honey palette so it can have both as well. <laughs> this is kind of a hot mess, you guys. Let's blend it out. It is really hard for me to blend out here because of my very wrinkled eyes. And also, um, I had an incident a long time ago, and so I had some darkness here when they waxed and took off some skin. So sometimes it looks like I didn't blend enough but really it's, you know, that darkness. So I have to work with it. 
Okay. I feel like I need a little bit. Put a little bit more. Oh, this applies way better with your fingers. True bronze. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go into the edges again. Try to blend that darker shade in a little bit. Oops. Don't poke your eye, Olivia. <laughs> okay. I think that's good for now. I'm going to go put my makeup on and um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I put on all my makeup. I will list everything below in case you want to know what I put on my face. The only thing I did not put on was the lippy and that's because I want to put it on with you guys. It is the Natasha Denona Lipophoria in Nude. And um, I tried to go a little bit darker with my cheeks this time, some NARS in there. Anyway, I'll, I'll list it down below. But so we're going to try the nude lippy. And I normally put lip liner on my lips, but I couldn't find a really nudie lip liner. So I'm just going to put it on as is. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> I love that. I really love that. You know what? I don't even need the lip liner. The lip liner would probably define my lips a little bit more, but so what do you guys think of the eyeshadow? How does it look? I was a little bit more daring and you know what? I realized I didn't have to be scared. I really like this look. This is not a usual look for me, but I really like it. What do you guys think? I also did one more thing um, that I want to mention. I used the Milani Shadow Eyes pencil on the inside here to line. Um, and I feel like that makes your eyes pop a little bit more with these colors. Um, I wish I could put something, some eyeshadow. You know how some people will line with the shadow. If I do that, because my under eyes are so wrinkled, it just ends up like a hot mess. It like transfers everywhere and I look like a raccoon by the end of the day. So that is why I don't put any eyeshadow or any mascara on the bottom. I just do it on the top. But I'm kind of happy with this look. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts below. I hope you enjoyed and congratulate me for being brave. <laughs> I realized that I didn't have to be that scared. I'm really happy with this look. I'm excited to play a little bit more. So let me know if you want me to do a third look, I can do that as well. I really found that you can find some pretty neutralish looks. And by neutralish, I mean safe looks. If you're afraid that this is going to be too glittery, you know, I thought this was going to be too glittery for me. And I don't think it is. I think it looks just fine, especially paired up with a nude lippy. It looks nice so yeah you know if you're not normally a warm shade shadow person go get this yes this means you Julie <laughs> sorry I'm being a bad influence all right you guys thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you later bye